Good morning, everyone. Today, I, Shriya, and I, Rishika, are here to present a skit on the third law of motion called Laws of Motion Are Mystery to Newton. Scene one. He enters in a room very peculiar, some place where he had never been to. Only then, suddenly, intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder, please kneel down. Okay. Who are you? And why are you holding that gun? I am a robot and this is a gun. You have time traveled and broken the space-time continuum. I'm here to take your information. Okay. What is your name? Time travel? Is that even possible? Yes, it is possible. And I will kill you if you don't answer my question. Okay. Beep, Bob. My name is Newton, Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton? Are you the great scientist Isaac Newton who formulated the three laws of motion? Uh, well, I was just formulating them yesterday. Sir, you are 400 years in future. Beep, Bob. 400? That's amazing. Why are you still pointing that gun at me? Sir, it is to show you that it... You must come with me. Uh, I will come with you. But can you at least show me how it, how the gun is used? It works on your third law of motion. Look, I fire and it recoils. Right, third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, sir. Now you must come with me to the headquarters. Beep, bop. I want to go back to my time. No, sir. I insist. Well, then I will fight you. Hmm. Ah, oh, why that hurt so much? Sir, that is because of your third law of motion. You applied force on me and there was a reaction force on you. That is why it hurt. Although it did hurt, I am amazed by the advancements in science in the 21st century. Yes, sir. Humans are very grateful for your contributions. But right now, it is important for you to come to the headquarters. Okay, look, I will go with you. But at least show me some real-life application of my laws. Yes, sir. We can do that on our way. Beep, bop. Let's go. Okay. Oh, wait. Look, what is that gigantic circular vessel with a flame underneath it? Sir, that's a hot air balloon. Beep, bop. What does it do? It is used for human recreation. And guess what? It works in the third law of motion. Good job, sir. The hot air expelled out works in the opposite direction of the air outside the hot air balloon. Hence, the hot air balloon rises up. That's amazing. Bob, even rockets and airplanes work on the same principle. They move forward by expelling a force backwards. Airplanes? Rockets? Yes, sir. They are a machine in which humans can sit and fly. Fly like a bird? Yes, sir. But you need not worry. The invention will take another 200 years. Beep. That's Bop. a lot of time. You know, I do know the laws, but it seems that humans have used it just artificially. No, sir. It was very much present since the beginning. Beginning? Like, you mean naturally? Yes, sir. Guess where? Walking. Walking? Yes, sir. Try walk. When we walk forward, we exert force on the ground. And the ground exerts a reaction force on us. That is why we are we can move forward. You know, speaking of naturally, it also occurs when we swim. So we push the water backward and it pushes us forward. Good job, sir. You're learning. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, shall we continue our walk? Yes, sir. Let's walk a bit faster. Oh wait, look. Why are the children huddled around an orange sphere? Sir, that is a basketball. It's a sport. Look, there is one. They use to put it in the net at a height. Hmm, and guess what? Let me guess. It works with the third law of motion. Yes, sir. And it works in two ways. I can show you the first one. When we jump, we apply force on the ground and the force is applied on us. 
Hence, we can jump. Guess the second one. Uh, when we dribble the ball, show it to me. When we dribble the ball, I apply the force on the ball and the ground applies the same force in the opposite direction. Good job, sir. You're learning. And physics does not end here in basketball. When the children throw the basketball, they follow the projectile motion and a trajectory which goes inside the net. So, physics everywhere. I guess so. My laws are just great, aren't they? No, sir. Your laws have limitations as well. My laws have limitations? Yes, sir. I can tell you at least two. Okay, fine. Go ahead. First one. Your laws only work in contact forces. You mean when two objects are in contact, only then? Yes, sir. They will not work from far away. And the second one is that they are only applicable to the macro world and not to atomic dimensions. You know why? Because you cannot simultaneously measure the two forces acting at once. I guess that's insightful. Uh, you know, I was also thinking my third law of motion not only applies artificially and naturally, but also applies to life, like philosophically. Every action that we do comes back to us sooner or later. Sir, I am a robot and I do not understand emotions or <sighs> philosophy. But I am sure if these words are coming out of such a great mind, they must be true. Beep, bop. Thank you, Robot, for that lovely compliment. And sir, look, we almost reached the headquarters. Let's get you in and probably back to your time so that you can do more discoveries. Beep, bop. Let's go.